What's up guys, it's Mion. I'm back with another video. I'm gonna try to keep this quick because I got food in the oven, I'm on my lunch break, but I wanna get my Elimination Chamber predictions out now. So, basically let's just jump right into this. So, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams. And make sure to have those notifications turned on so you don't miss out on being here tonight for my Elimination Chamber live reaction stream. Should be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into the matches. So, I'm going to open things up with the U.S. title Elimination Chamber match uh, to start with, which is Austin Theory is your champion walking in to defend against Seth Rollins, Johnny Gargano, Bronson Reed, Damian Priest, and Montez Ford. If the plan is Theory versus Cena at Mania, and supposedly Rollins versus Logan Paul is, all, is locked in for Mania as well, I don't think either one of them should be walking out of here with the belt. Um, Rollins and Paul is literally going to get built on Rollins' disdain for Paul. And uh, the, the promos that will be between them should be lit. Uh, and if you're doing Theory versus Cena, Theory if Theory walks in as US champion, he's probably going to retain because I don't see Cena. I don't think I think Cena's content with where he's at, and I don't think he's going to win another championship in WWE to this at this point in time in his career. So I think it comes down to the other four: Gargano, Reed, Priest, and Ford. Uh, Priest being the only one of the four to have held the U.S. title previously. And I don't believe he's going to win it because I have a I have a hunch that if Rhea Ripley beats Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania for the SmackDown Women's title, Judgment Day is going to get moved over to SmackDown uh, in the draft subsequently. So unless Priest were to win and then lose it at Mania, I think it should go to one of the other three. Uh, you can make an argument for Montez Ford. Uh, he did say recently that if he wins the match, he's going to give the title shot to Angelo Dawkins, which I think is cool. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Johnny Gargano to take the W tonight and win the U.S. title. I mean, it feels right. It's like him wearing the North American title or the NXT title in NXT. It just feels right to me. So Gargano for U.S. champion, please and thank you. We'll get to the other Elimination Chamber match. The Raw Women's Championship number one contenders match between Asuka, Liv Morgan, Nikki Cross, Raquel Rodriguez, Natalia, and Carmella. And I think there's only one. Okay, there's two clear winners for this match. Asuka and Liv. No offense to the others, but I don't think Raquel is winning. Natalia's there because Canada. Carmella just came back, but I don't see her winning. And Nikki's had this thing going on with Candice, so... We'll see where that leads. I don't see her winning either. Really, it comes down to Oscar and Liv, and that's the that's what they've been pushing with this match lately. Um, they just faced each other on SmackDown last night. Give me Oscar though. As much as I would like to see Bianca versus Liv at Mania, give me Oscar. I want to see uh, because Bianca's gonna go into WrestleMania holding that Raw Woods title for basically a year since she won it. Becky Lynch had held it for like over half a year after she took it from Bianca at SummerSlam the year prior. Asuka's probably going to go on a year-long reign herself um, when she beats Bianca at WrestleMania. Because Asuka, in this current form, I think is the only person that can beat Bianca right now. Because Bianca's beaten almost everybody else. So, Asuka will dethrone the ESC at WrestleMania, and she does so by winning this match. Give me Asuka. Lock it in. Next. Edge and Beth Phoenix versus Finn Bauer and Rhea Ripley uh, in a mixed tag match. And I think it's pretty cut and dry who's going to win this one. I believe it's going to be Bauer and Ripley. Simply off the fact that with Ripley having won the Women's Royal Rumble, you want to keep her looking strong going into her match with Charlotte at WrestleMania. Even if, I mean, she obviously she doesn't have to take the pin if they lose, but I think it just makes more sense for Judgment Day to win. Um... However, I wouldn't be surprised if Edge and Beth give them both some comeuppance after, you know, past shenanigans. But I'm going to take the Judgment Day to take the W. Then we have Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. And this is where things get interesting. Because last night on SmackDown, Bray Wyatt called out this match, saying that the winner, whoever wins between the two of them in this match, they need to run. Insinuating Bray Wyatt's going to be targeting one of the two of them moving forward, and we get the Firefly Funhouse back on SmackDown next Friday. Oh, yeah. Now, think back to that little uh, Christmas skit that got released by the WWE via QR code uh, last December. Part of it had Brock Lesnar in his tractor from SummerSlam running over the White Rabbit. 
I think we're getting Brock versus Bray Wyatt. And damn it, I want to see Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. Firefly Funhouse match. You're in Hollywood. I know people are saying it's going to look weird and it might not look right because with front of live crowds. But I'm telling you right now, it's Hollywood. They'll make it work. Give me that. Absolutely give that to me. So I'm going to take Brock Lesnar to win this match. And we're going to get Bray versus Brock. It's nothing against Bobby Lashley. But I think his path right now is headed back towards reuniting the Hurt Business. And rumor has it, Carmelo Hayes could get called up to join them. I've seen that. So, uh, <laughs> fingers crossed. But, uh, yeah. So, give me Brock Lesnar to win this match. Brock versus Bray in a WrestleMania. And, side note, if Alexa joins Bray Wyatt, does, Bro does Brock Lesnar bring back Sable? <laughs> I'm just instigating. But, hey, why not? So, that leaves us, of course, with the main event. Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn for the Undisputed Universal title. Oh, boy. Um, I'm going to get it right out of the way right now. I am taking Roman Reigns to win because I don't... As much as I want to see Sami Zayn win, I don't think it's going to happen. Sami's story is more with the Usos, I think, specifically Jay. And... I know a lot of people want to see Sami win. And Sami's going to put up a hell of a fight tonight. That Montreal crowd, they were chanting fuck you Roman so loud last night at SmackDown that Fox had to mute the goddamn audio. They were that loud. No cap. And they're going to be even louder tonight. The heat, Roman's going to get nuclear level heat tonight because he's going to win. He's going to win. He's going to drop the belts to Cody Rhodes at, at WrestleMania. My guilty pleasure would be Jey Uso turns on Roman tonight, Sammy wins, and we get Roman versus Jey. Loser leaves WWE at WrestleMania, which Roman would lose so he can take his time off, go to Hollywood, etc., etc., etc. And I'm interested to see what Triple H does. Does he change plans or does he stick to what he th what's going to happen? Does he stick to Roman versus Cody? Does he give the belts to Sammy? We'll have to see. But for right now, I'm taking Roman Reigns to win. With all that being said, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all tonight. Peace.